Somebody in chat, by the way, somebody in chat asked, what is the culture war? The culture war is a series of incredibly petty and meaningless arguments over fundamentally progressivism versus reactionary, like, uh, beliefs. And, um, and generally speaking, this goes the exact same way every time, okay? This is the culture war, okay? Um, generally speaking, you'll have a non-issue, and then one group will make it into an issue immediately. Almost always, this is the conservatives. It'll either be like, um, trans people exist, or a video game has, like, a pronoun selector at the beginning during character customization, or, like, a, a university will offer a course on, like, whiteness and racial discourse in American history. And all these are perfectly normal, defensible things. And then the conservatives, usually very well-paid conservatives, usually people who make millions of dollars, like, if not a year, then at least, like, over the course of their career, uh, will then blow it up into a massive culture issue, and then everybody has to talk about it, okay? This happens every single fucking time. It happens every time there's a progressive cartoon, every time there's a progressive video game, every time a celebrity says or does something progressive. We just did it over that one guy who wore a dress. Uh, Candace Owens turned that into a culture war thing by saying that the masculinity was being destroyed in the West. Uh, we have it on the war in Christmas, where literally nothing is happening anywhere, but the conservatives are convincing themselves. Harry Styles, thank you. But conservatives are convincing themselves that Christmas is going to be obliterated by cashiers choosing to say happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. It's always like a nothing. Like, nothing is happening, and then conservatives pretend that it's the end of the world. The culture war is not a back-and-forth thing. The culture war is conservatives trying to get other people on board with their meaningless, asinine excuses as to why we need to prevent progressivism. Remember Jordan Peterson and C-16, the bill C-16 in Canada? Who's been arrested in account of that bill? That bill which just extended their human rights over to trans people. Fucking nobody. Nobody has. But Jordan Peterson literally got in a soapbox, and he was like, and... If if the police if the thought police come for me I because I refuse to use these pronouns as they will then I would rather go to jail or I would rather die at the stake or be shot than uh, subscribe to their totalitarian Marxist perspective uh, like it's like insane the culture war is a delusion okay and the real victims of the culture war are the conservatives because they're the ones who are being led astray from the real issues. Do you know how many conservatives I've talked to who actually do think, hey, capitalism's excesses have really fucked our country up. Hey, the healthcare in this country is genuinely non-functional. Hey, you know, like all of these issues, like real issues, like actual effective things that really make a difference. There are a lot of conservatives who care about these. Believe it or not, there are, but they're deluded through the culture war, they're deluded into believing that it's worth sacrificing everything else to protect their country from being destroyed by the lack of people saying Merry Christmas at the cashier's line. Remember that Tim Pool fan I debated? That guy conceded every point, every point on Trump's performance, every single point. But he still, because of some nebulous idea about the culture war, he still defended voting for Trump. He conceded on everything, but he was so convinced that Western civilization's perpetuation relied on essentially a d destruction of progressive values that he couldn't see any of it. In essence, the culture war is a veil that conservative demagogues throw over everyone who will listen to prevent them from seeing what's really wrong with our society. They did this a hundred years ago too. You know, there were big wealthy folks, robber barons, politicians, and what they would do is they would stoke racial tension amongst the working class to prevent them from being able to collectively unionize. Folks, how well do you think a general strike works if your union only is white people? Don't. Black folk are just going to go right over there and work instead. In fact, they might even get paid more because they need to be incentivized to pick up the slack from all the white folk. And a lot of unions back in those days were racially segregated because the union leaders were victims of incredibly dedicated racial propaganda designed to prevent them from working together. It's the old class war. The culture war is a distraction from the class war. We did the same thing back in the 1960s, too, with real issues like austerity and uh, the, the war in Vietnam and the, in the Cold War and like healthcare spending and everything. And you know what we ended up arguing about? A drug war that Nixon forced out of nowhere that did no good for this fucking country hippies, uh, 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 student walkouts, 
all of a sudden, the real threat to our country stopped being any of its institutions in the way they were failing and started being students smoking pot. That's what they did, and they've been continuing to do this for centuries. Conservatives are tragic victims. They're too stupid to realize that they are tools used by the ruling class to prevent them from recognizing the circumstances of their oppression. Does that make sense? That's the culture war.